Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your Wi-Fi within Debian. So this is a bog standard Debian install. The only thing I've done is install the non-free repositories. I've got another video linked here that will show you how to do that. Um, but the main problem I have is down here, when I click here, uh, you can see I've got a wired connection. I haven't got any Wi-Fi connections popping up and that's to do with my Realtek um, Wi-Fi card not being picked up by Debian. So in this video I'm going to show you how to um, install drivers and hopefully that will fix the problem. So uh, to start off with, um, the card I've got is an RTL 8821CE um, card, uh, so that's the driver I need. And if I look at the kernel I'm using, it's 5.10, so I'm thinking that's probably high enough to be able to pick up that Realtek card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run sudo apt cache search Realtek. And you'll see, see there's firmware hyphen real tech in there. So I'm going to install that first to see if that solves the problem. So uh, this relies on you having sudo uh, being added to the sudo file. Another video shows you how to do that. If you um, haven't got sudo, you can also switch to your root user by type su space hyphen and logging in. And then you can run the command um, apt install firmware Realtek. But if you are using sudo, as I am, we're going to do sudo apt install firmware Realtek, like that. Obviously this relies on you having an internet connection, which is a bit of a chicken and egg scenario, if you haven't got one. Uh, so three ways you can do it. Um, one, you can insert a Wi-Fi dongle that will be picked up by Debian. Um, you can use an Ethernet cable, as I am, to connect to your computer. Or you can plug your phone in to USB and do USB phone tethering. Uh, now you'll see there's lots of um, errors popping up the screen about missing firmware. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot and see if that solves the problem. So I've rebooted. Um, other than having two Bluetooth things here, um, nothing has actually solved the problem. What we're going to do now is we're going to update our Debian kernel. So what that means doing is as follows. Open a terminal window. So within the terminal, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, Debian backports into the um, repositories, so sudo nano etc apt sources.list and you can type this in here anywhere, I'm just going to add a comment, uh, say backports and then we're going to deb http deb.debian.org debian forward slash bullseye obviously if you're on a uh, this video is in 2023 if you're a lot later on than this you'll have to update it to the one that's there and you type in bullseye backports and then we're going to do main like that and if I do control O control X so control O saves it, control X exits the nano, and then we can do sudo apt get update. So now what we need to do is, um, let's see what um, kernels are available. So we can do sudo apt cache search, and we'll do Linux hyphen image. And you can see we've got the latest one is 6.1, so we're at 5.10, so we're quite way behind. So we can install the latest one by doing sudo apt minus t uh, bullseye backports 
upgrade. And what this does is um, the minus T um, is the target. So the target is bullseye backports, that's the repository, and we're upgrading from there. So if we would, if we didn't do bullseye backports, we'd do the main and it'd take the latest one from main. So that's why we're targeting bullseye backports. And it's set asking, do I want to continue? The answer is yes. So uh, now it's given details of what's been installed. So you can just scroll through that. If you want to exit, you can just do Q. And now it's actually installing the um, up upgrade. So the first part was downloading it, now it's upgrading. As you can see, I'm getting a few missing um, libraries. And other than that, it is setting up OK. OK, we're done. Um, we're going to close this window now. Um, let's check. I don't think it's going to work straight away. It hasn't. I'm going to have to reboot again. I have now rebooted my system. And if I go to my Wi-Fi, you can see um, I've got all my Wi-Fi networks available and I can connect to them. So uh, that is now working. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, um, give it a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.